Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here, I'm going to have to force the reason why. That's not going to be a question anymore. to be there for quite a while, huh? Can you tune your radio? I'm looking forward to polkaing all night. I'm sure you are. I've no doubt. I love you. Oh yeah. If they do, I love you. I bet you do get some pledges. The brand new John Fattis. Please don't be filming. I'm not. I'm just playing. You can get a brand new Chet Baker. I could be lying. You very well could be. <laughs> there's a light no, there's on. A light there. on uh, now I gotta put the money back. Hey, we were closed. Close. Give me a third option. Stupid. 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 Let's rewind yesterday's and have the same sandwich. Well, I don't want pizza. I don't want the same sandwich as I had yesterday. Somebody else's sandwich from yesterday. But, uh, it, you know, it's true. Oh, that's right. We're on camera. Hi. Mainly, I would say, through your What other delis are there? Delis are always clean. Oh, I don't know, I did three day history of jazz. And Which this are we talking about? Can I see how it works from the other series. side? Yeah, do you want a recording or not recording? Do I have lipstick on? Do you? I'm not wearing makeup. Do I have any makeup? Yes. Do you have any makeup? 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 Uh, no, no, this is, I'm just, I'm putting stuff away. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a scene, a scene from, uh, from the, uh, the Radiothon horror film, 3D Signal Upgrade. Uh, well, Mr. Dexter, yes? what do you think of this premium? Uh, Is the turkey that eats turkey dinner? Cannibal? Cannibal turkey. No, they eat a vegetarian dinner. Oh, they all eat a vegetarian dinner. The turkey misses them. The turkey lives. It's funny if only the turkey ate a vegetarian dinner and they went out and they bought turkeys and ate them. And then they ask the turkey, you know, while he's eating, hey, you recognize you know, anybody here? Turkey, your relatives. They play like a wonderful. With your nasty pancake house. Whoa. Did it play this way? No, it's not. We're fortunate to have two such outlets. One I think I think it is how we can tell people. But these outlets were very good. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> now you're done. Is that what you you're telling me? You made me look for my bag like a crazy person. <laughs> oh, I seem to recall some histrionics yesterday when my bag was on top of your clipboard. As opposed to the other way around. I don't remember any. The only histrionics that were, I think, were yours when you said, Look, you put your clipboard under my bag. Nobody can do anything near your bag. You even complain that the table touches your bag. If you had your way, you'd have it suspended in midair with nothing touching it. <laughs> That was one, you were one of the first civilians to apply to go to the moon so that you could hold the bag, you are the same self same bag, and have it have it have it floating. Floating when, when you escaped Earth's gravity. And floating on the moon so nothing would be touching. Ah, uh, nuts to you. Yeah. Yeah, we're from the nuts. I don't I don't want to clap for As the drama continues. Tune in tomorrow for another edition. Oh wow! Hey, I'm just a little bit tired of all this. Oh, a little bit tired. A little bit tired. Well, I'm getting, I'm getting very tired of all this. I'm getting, I'm getting tired. A little bit tired. I'm infinitely more dangerous than you. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about, about. Who asked you to sit down and stay? Yes, you told me to sit down and stay here. That's why I'm standing up because I found that if I do the exact opposite of what you tell me to do, everything works fine. Everything works just fine. When I do exactly what you tell me, everything completely falls apart. Look, it's because of you that there's somebody standing over us now, holding holding some kind of mechanism and zooming it at us. And I'm telling you right now, I've had it. I'm just fed up. I'm just fed up. Norm Fussman, please. Yes, Norm, it's uh, our gym seems to have gone off again. What should I do? Uh-huh. No, I'm not going to do that. Hey, everybody, it's Tad Horton. All right. How hot should the water be? Is that hot water thing working? Oh, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs>
Is it not working now? Okay. I'll try it. It doesn't work okay. The scene continues as Eric okay. calls. As Eric calls. Uh, all right. So Hello, Norm? Yeah, Eric's calling up that guy for saying he's talking to you again. Yeah, he's doing a bit about the hot water. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I realize that. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? You know what happened today? You know what he called today for the millionth time? The bag thing. It was unbelievable. Everything was running here smoothly. We were fifty thousand dollars over gold. You know what he does? He can't find his bag for about two minutes. He goes crazy. He goes running into the studio, the air studio, turns the mic on, and starts screaming about the fact that he can't find his bag. Jim, we you had, don't need to be talking to anybody. We, we lost. People <laughs> called up and we, they withdrew their pledges. They withdrew their pledges. They would do the pledges from last year. We have to send a new transmitter back. They, they, they got. Jim, they, Jim, come, come back to Earth, okay? <laughs> it's sad what can happen after a long time in a radio station like this. We hope that our listeners don't see this effect of oh, the commercial God, radio. Oh You're loose leaf, Eric, isn't it? I just cut myself on your one of your loose leaf parts. <laughs> and it is your loose leaf, don't deny it. But the other day you were going around bragging about the fact it's my AT&T loose leaf. It's my big contribution to the Radiothon. This Radiothon couldn't operate without Last year's this radiothon. loose leaf. The way you went around complaining as if as if, as if, as if they stopped making loose leaves. Well, they they, they, have they, loose leaf. they always make loose leaves. Loose leaf is mandated by the federal government that they have to make loose leaves. It's required that loose leaves always be manufactured. It's special about your loose leaf. Now all of a sudden, I hurt myself, and as soon as you think there's some kind of liability involved, you don't know anything about any loose leaf. No, it's never my loose leaf. I don't buy loose leaf, you say. But it's against my religion, you say. They're against my political philosophy, you say. Well, this is too much, and I'm fed up with Now, what number should we give nine of a hundred stars? <laughs> you say nine, ninety-nine, ninety-nine? I'm not being noticed, but you're getting... This is a great quote here. Nobody's run out screaming yet. <laughs> All right, it's Mike there. Where your announcements right, can be heard and is heard Thanks. regularly and constantly. And uh, we would appreciate now if uh, you can help us out a bit with your pledge uh, of $35, $25, or whatever you feel is uh, appropriate. This will be having a fight. Three two six nine zero one. Make sure that we will remain a community station for you. Once again, we have a uh, uh, Hello, Michael. Hi, Premium. Eric, I'll over you in, uh, uh, the way of oh, good. How are you this morning? Donation. Uh, I guess I'll run down ah, a couple more and we'll get well. back to some music. We were wondering if you were on your way to come over here. Ring. Ah, good. Well, make sure you brush your teeth first. That's what I called um, to remind you. Getting the USB program guy. Very All right. To your, uh, well, you make, your <laughs> make sure you take care of that. Station. You'll be getting a Bye. sticker to get a mouthful of toothpaste. Ah. I'm sure he's going to share that with us when he gets here. He's on his way over, uh, even as we speak. The majesty of the blue. The man. Hey, is there any tape left in that thing? I want to record the polka people. We'll get your tape. Don't worry. The tape will run out. Which is, Genevieve's uh, drugs, this does. Yeah. Video store itself, but Genevieve's drugs does. Don't ask me why. <laughs> 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 Hello, Eric. 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 Hello, uh, I need that number again. I couldn't understand the dialect on that computer. Six three two six five hundred. Okay. And what area code is that? Five one six. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Okay. All right. Okay. They got it. What? What? They got to treat them. Got to treat them like kids. The little things are important to me. The little people are important. I really feel like that's your problem. Right, Jill. Right, Jill. I know something. Um, would you like to sing your name? Little people. Little people, yeah. Wait. Little people. A phrase you should be familiar with. I should be familiar with. Yeah, we do. Wow. I do use it all the time. Yes, we do. Yeah, she's going to be here. I think uh, the sound of Barnhart is $35. Well, I mentioned it would be embarrassing for you, but, uh, you know, it's embarrassing for you. Right, it's a 17. I appreciate your patronage. Bye, Barry. Have you checked your bag for five times? I know where my bag is. You know, do you know what your bag is? Yeah, I know where mine is. Yeah, I know. That's the problem. If you'd be more concerned with what your bag is, I don't know. Do you guys know the score for the last time? These guys are being really rowdy. Do you know the score for last night's hockey game? It's worth five bucks to the station. I think it was, uh... You were on the air. How would you... A major, wasn't it? What was the score? Um...
Come on, come on. That sounds like about yeah, a major. Major. It was a major. You're right. Kershaw was thing 712 to the third power. There you go. No, I was going to say, I, I, the joke didn't come out right. I was going to say something about they won the, 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 the WBS championship. Never mind. Nobody knows the score. It's sad. This is a radio station with a news department and nobody knows the score. You're still playing hockey? Um, um. Well, what we said was we didn't know the score. We didn't, we didn't know the score. We didn't know the score. We didn't know the score. New York Times. New York Times. Right now. Do you see the score here? I don't see the score. You know what I mean? New York Times. Oh, they changed the name of it? Yeah. Oh, it's like that. You know, what's funny to me is that the New York Times is a newspaper of record. How come you have other newspapers? No, it's not a record. It's stories about music. No, no, no. New York Times is a Times newspaper, not a record newspaper. The record is like this. Oh, okay. I got a little confused. I'm sorry. Yeah. Now this, this yeah. is paper of record, mm. and that's the capital R. Mm. All right, in here you'll you find mean, capital R on the word paper, or capital pages. R on the word record, and the pages aren't, you know, like pages like this are kind of worthless. The they're so big, and they, you know, but with this, right, you open it up, and whoa, it's still in one piece. Yeah. Huh? So, I guess, yeah. it must be important. Well, yeah, the, yeah. I guess what you're saying is that the readers of 2600 want to be able to go, wow, yeah, while they're reading their publication. Right. right, they do that quite or often. Yeah. yeah, well, there you go. Now, it's going to take me about a half hour to clean this mess up. This, however, this is nice and neat. This is in one piece. No problem. Okay, 2-0, US-3, The demonstration's over now. I have to clean up. Demonstration? Why? Somebody protesting? I didn't know somebody was protesting. I'll tell you one thing, though. If I were you, okay, I I'd be very, things, very um, carefully if somebody was going to compare one track by the other by going, whoa! Okay. okay. Unless, of course, right. the product was that right. they were advertising something yeah. that could be designed to facilitate. Uh, I think you have four years on the budget now. Yeah, I think, mm. I think Although I don't know, I mean, like, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's indifferent, but I have never rolled up the one edge in any couple Great, thank you so much. Oh, I'm looking at it. Okay, uh, thanks for the pledge. We appreciate it. It's funny, they have your name, too. Oh, facilitator, so I don't know what. Uh, t-shirt is for, you know, I don't know, 20 minutes. I'll try to find out what you're doing. My bag, my bag, my bag. Uh, my bag. Eat done. Matter of fact, you know what you're doing right now? Pulling up. Oh, you're George Bag finders and others. Don't you think he was Rob? Don't think. Thank you for your pledge. All right. Bye bye. So how much did Rob? Don't, well, don't put won. me on the phone. <laughs> I'm giving people a deal. I think Boston won. I, I think he likes. Oh, that's pretty funny. Boston won because New York and New York are playing. I know. Yeah. <laughs> how could Boston win when it's a game? They weren't even playing the game. <laughs> Well, last night there was uh, New York Islander, New York Rangers, uh, New Jersey Devils. Did you pull one of those Sandro Bernhardt from the thirty-five dollar neighborhood for me? Wow! Did you guys know a North Sea ferry burst into flames yesterday mm. in a Swedish port? One hundred bodies. I'm not sure exactly how that turned out. Oh my God! Really? Whoa! They said one hundred fifty people died in the oh, fire. Oh wow! wow. Uh, no, listen. No, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you were saying something. We've got the greatest listeners in the world. That's what I was going to say. Greatest listeners in the world. Yes. The greatest listeners in the world. To the Air Force International Fox Boxing Day. Hall of Fame in New York. Ranger crumpled up college. Now here's the interesting thing. I heard that. Oh, yes. Look at what I found here. Four pen caps all lying next to each other. I heard no that pens. I think that's a uh, sign from the heavens. That means that our volunteers coming yeah, in here the, uh, stealing our pens, leaving the, the pen caps. They're too stupid to take the pen caps. Well, know they are. Not realizing that the, the, the pens are going to dry up. Did you just say that about our volunteers? People who donate yeah. their time yeah. and okay. and <laughs> even <laughs> money. <laughs> Uh, he called them. Did you know today, feet? on April 8th, yeah, because Hank Harris, you remember the, the, the volunteers that were picking up the phone and hanging up on the TV at home, they called them? Do you remember those people? Break here, everybody. Well, you weren't here, I was. Thank you, 1974, right? They have pools. I'm going to go. In 1513. See you guys later. You better be back. I'll 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 be back. I'
And also, if I give you money, will you get a news day to see what's listed in news day today? Break after this? I got news day. You do? You bring it up? Mm -hmm. Today's birthday. Delay those you. orders, Jim. Uh, Everybody's at oh, Betty Ford's okay. house. I won't bring it up now. I'll bring it up now. No, bring it up when you Everybody's at Betty Ford's house. It's her birthday. All right. What are you talking about? Yeah. We're starving here. It's Harry Carter's 36. We were facing. Norm was like on the ground at one point. Chocolate. Is anyone else here for this? What? Wow, we, we call the deli. It wasn't the call the deli. Someone called the deli to find out if you had been there yet. And if I hadn't been, would you call the police? No, I didn't call the police after we had stopped ourselves. Take care of it. Really? Yeah. 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 I was talking to Norm this morning, and Norm said that he was driving a car. Norm said to drive carefully. So I drove carefully, and I drove carefully. And I got to turn on the road where you make the left turn. And then the red light, and I stopped very carefully. And then I said, you know, it would be better if I go through Nichols Drive. So I went through the red light. I'm confessing. I went through a red light, and uh, a, ca a car was driving this way, and uh, he must have cursed me out. Ignore that one. Go but, ahead. Yeah, I drove through a red light. Hang on a moment. Palm Sunday. So everybody, the white Jewish guy. How many white Jewish guys have to thing for that? They don't know, because he wasn't up the time. Okay, video, video confession. Video confession of the Richard Vance. S-E-H-A-E. Oh, what's your question? Hi, I'd like to make a confession. Yes, ma'am. Well, yesterday I was driving down the road near the University of Stony Brook. Oh, Charles. And I had green light. Oh, okay, okay. That's how they make it. As I close the car, all right. Some wild person in a car went through their red light and they nearly hit me on my side. I cursed them out for more. 20 minutes after the night. Oh, my child. Probably me. The weakness of the flesh, my child. About 400 uh, Hail Marys over the church. Okay, I'll get right on it. And, uh, when was the last time you made a confession? Uh, is there any, uh, 1513, when Florida was claimed for Spain. Ah, you're Ponte Leone! Yeah, what do you do? Nice to meet you. Okay. So, Ponte, what was it like? Mike. The uh, days of exploration. Well, well and I was known as Ponte in those days. Ponte? Yes. Were you on Happy Days? No. Ponte. <laughs> no, Ponte. Yeah, yeah. Good it was very nice. It was very nice. It was already a retirement community. Uh, even then, uh, it was. It was. And uh, out of older Native Americans. Well, uh, actually, uh, actually no. Uh, okay. Actually, the Native American was still quite active. Alright. And what's the question that you want to ask? Actually, that's the only one. A lot of older people. We don't know what nationality they were. They affected some very interesting things. Yeah, the yeah. beauty of this is that the microphone is probably picking up the music, pick on the phone, and white collars, uh, and these guys all at the same time. You can't understand what you're saying. Quite extraordinary. Can we give a story now? Tell me, what was the fashion yeah. uh, of your native land? Well, uh, I personally, I don't know about my native land, but I remember I personally at that point was very much uh, into yeah, yeah, three yeah, piece suits. Yeah. So that was that required uh, vestige for uh, the transport bucket. Yes, very, uh, very custom, custom. Well, they were very impervious to the salt, salt air. Yeah, yeah. 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 the outer layer kind of like rotted and dried. Yeah. 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 Y
S C H A E F E R. Boy, my my six is a little bit too fat. I'm going to start again. Okay. The too fat of a six. Oh, way too fat. This is the USB art department. Hard at work. That six is much better. Yeah. Yeah. We can make up for it with the one. Oh, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. Ones are rarely fat. Okay, now we have to thicken up the letters. This would be the letter thickening portion of this operation. Makes a neat noise, doesn't it? It makes a great noise. <laughs> you know what's great about this? Through the magic of video technology, I can we we can see this now, and then see it when it's all done. Okay, here we are. A little bit farther along now. Still fattening letters. Let me know when you turn that thing on again. It is on. <gasps> there we go. An artisan at work. Yes. Truly a letter fattening artisan. Is that like uh, the marker of choice? Yes. The only marker we have. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Thinking a paintbrush would come in very handy. Indeed it would in this instance. So what do you think? Now we can probably make them a little fatter. Um, but, yeah. They still seem a little bit on the slender side for fat letters or numbers as the case may be. Well, I can hear the phone's ringing from here. I'm going across the hallway there. Uh, it's a little too dark. Oh, well. Great sound still. From the, uh, from the digit fattening department? Oh, yes. It would be kind of like watching one of those William Alexander shows, you know? Ah, the mighty, the mighty marker. I'm Marty Stauffer. <laughs> you ever watch Marty Stauffer? No, Marty Stauffer, yeah. Okay, yeah. Now we'll, we'll just wait now for the finished product. Here we go. And the finishing touch. Ah, truly a masterpiece. This is the USB art department, the le number fattening division.
cute. You don't know what a touch me first is? What's a touch? It's a mat that you put underneath the keyboard. So before you go anywhere near the computer, you touch the mat, which is a static discharge. Last night. You plug, yeah, well. Except it was the chair that did it. The chair? Yeah, but still, you would have touched the, the mat before touching the computer anyway. Oh no, I just shoved the chair into the, into the desk. And it mm. went through the desk. Here in the USB art department, there is, of course, no smoking. Well, unless you're, unless you're on fire, then smoking is pretty much mandatory. Are you on macro? No, not the moment. Uh, you know how to use it? Yeah. This is a close-up of the USB art department. Oh, isn't that nice? And uh, that could be the that would be the nostrils <coughs> of the USB art department. Oh, thank you. Back to the number fattening. I think we've spent just about enough time on this as anybody can bear to witness. <laughs> so, we'll now bid a fond farewell to the USB art department. Any final parting words, Mr. Yuvas? No. I just thought not. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, for sure. quite make it out, but, oh, there we go, rich cross, oh, macro, <laughs> macro me, there, rich frosted uh, donuts, as in rich and tish kach, oh, that's unpleasant <laughs> in the extreme, uh, yep, go away, go away, just playing, I'm not filming, it's not filming, the red light is dealing, he is filming, <laughs> to you, unless, if this could happen to you, unless you give WUSB, look at this, look at it. Look at that head. Oh my god, can you imagine finding that on your lawn? <laughs> Jeez. Walk out. What the hell is that? 
giant dragon, an unwanted giant dragon. Yeah, that's right. I mean, they're the worst kind. Can you imagine wanting that? Whoa. Yeah, well, you know, there might be occasions for <laughs> in which a giant head would fit in. We're an independent yeah, station. Maybe. A lot of people don't want us to be independent. A lot maybe. of organizations have their eye on WUSB. I only got here a little while ago. Well, I've been listening. I woke up around 9 and reached out and turned to me on. The FMU is the DAS. Hey, what happened to the WUSB? I went to Virginia, so it was 304, right? So then you went to Maryland? Maryland. So it's, uh, 301. Then did you go through Western Pennsylvania? Yeah. Did you come straight up like Allentown? Yeah. Okay, so then you were in 814, then 717. 814 is not Lancaster. 814 is not Lancaster. That's right. 814 is, is south central. Well, look, you lived in Pennsylvania anyway, so you should know this stuff. 717, and they went through 215 if you were through going, yeah, going through Allentown. Then you I went in area code. Uh, then you went. Then you went through 201, <laughs> northern New Jersey. Did you go through the Bronx to get back? No. No. I think no. I was very code 806. We did uh, Staten Island. Oh, so then you missed 212. Two you, did, you did 718 and 511. That's only eight area codes you did. You could have gotten a ninth if you'd gone up like over the front. Mm -hmm. No, 705. That's where I was. 705. That's 705 in Ontario. That's right. Yeah. It's the St. Marie. That's where I called Albania from there. That showed up my phone bill, too. $28.50. How long did you drive? Ten minutes. <laughs> person to person, though, even though I didn't know who the person was. Well, well at least you got through some, some guy at Radio Toronto. Yeah, I have it on tape. Or we play 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 oh, that day when we... Yeah. That was the worst phone That was such a funny phone call. What, the one I played? Yeah, when you asked him the guy to call, you asked... I was giving him the address. Address, and it took him, like, over... Oh, like, a long time. A long time, like... Over 40 minutes. No, it didn't take that long. It seemed like 40 <laughs> minutes. Every time you're like repeating the address. <laughs> what what address are you talking about? I gave my PO box. Oh, okay. <laughs> you want to answer right now? Yeah, and they sent it to me too. Oh, they did? Yeah, I got a little Radio Toronto pin, and I got a schedule, and uh, kind of uh, two postcards. Yeah. Good. Yeah.
One, two, one, two, three, four. Well, I took my ruby jukin off the house, cause the house just took a high heels off and rolled his stockings down. Put a quarter of two bucks to get the rock and roll. But ruby started the rock and it started by my soul. Well, Ruby got started about one o'clock. And once you started rocking, you just couldn't stop. Rock, rock, the table, and roll. I'm looking at the uh, calorie on the uh, screen here. And it looks like they'll really need uh, $4 to get over um, the halfway point for today's goal. So one more call will put us over the top uh, to get to the 50% mark for today's goal. And uh, let's see. We do need to generate some calls to uh, approach this goal's hour, the uh, 5 o'clock hour having just commenced. I break that $10,000 mark, that'll be the total so far uh, that's been raised during Radiothon 1990. We only need uh, 190.1 listeners to get over that mark. Uh, we're at 195. We're hoping for some more support before we clear out and get ready for Teresa, who uh, is certainly getting ready to uh, set up and start the Polka Country USA show. Susan, what are we working on in premiums you, here? You realize we matched the grant, uh, the $50 grant from Graphics Advantage. Thank you very much, the folks at Graphics Advantage in Pawtucket. Uh, we just have another $50 going up there, and that means we are less than $50 short of the $10,000 mark. 632-6901. One call can do it. One call or two calls. 632-6901. You could be that one person who picks up the phone, dials the number, and makes the difference. 632-6901. 632-6901. We've heard a lot of great music today, and I hope some of you have taken advantage and uh, taped some of these performances. And uh, in the background, as we get out of here, I guess I have a little bit more music we'll listen to. Uh, fortunately, we can't uh, present it without a little chatter on top, a little bit of Sam Rivers um, live at Stony Brook. And uh, how long are we going to go here? A couple more minutes because Teresa is waiting and we've got Polka to come. Teresa looks like she's ready for a party. <laughs> yeah, Teresa's ready to rock and uh, we know she's going to do real well. And uh, we're hoping just to round up with the last few phone calls to Jazz on the air. 632-6901, call up. Pledge support to uh, 90.1 FM, the station that uh, presents the type of music and public affairs programming that you've come to value over the years, that you've come to use over the years, 632-6901, and uh, you get yourself a program guide and a bumper sticker with any uh, pledge at the $10 level or higher. Uh, we're trying to break the 10000 mark. Uh, and over the next couple of minutes, we need around 90 some odd dollars to do so. And uh, we wouldn't mind seeing nine or ten people call with ten dollar pledge. Um, it's our special supporter category for students and senior citizens. Uh, and ten dollars will get you the program guide for a full year in addition to a WUSB <laughs> bumper sticker. So six three two six nine zero one, and uh, we'll take it as a vote of support for uh, the music of Mose Allison, Warren Marsh. Um, Keith Jarrett, Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers, the Heritage Hall Jazz Band, and Jimmy McGriff, in addition to Charles Mingus and, and uh, Sam Rivers, all of whom we heard from today, all tapes uh, recorded by USB engineering staff uh, on locations ranging from this building to buildings across the way here to, uh, to sites such as uh, Hexer State Park and Hop Hog, all for the... Um, the betterment of our programming and uh, the enjoyment that you will derive from listening to this kind of uh, great presentation. 632-6901, 632-6901. Waiting for your calls. It's actually getting pretty crowded and pretty active here at WUSB. Uh, there's a lot of excitement going on, and uh, I know a lot of people are waiting for Polka Country USA, and we're just waiting for one or two more calls, 632-6901. Uh, you know, the reason WUSB makes such a difference is because of the variety of programming. Uh, programming that's uh, a little more uh, thought-provoking programming that gives you a uh, taste of different kinds of things. 632-6901. Uh, give us a call with your pledge of uh, $25, $35. Uh, Rob, you want to uh, go over the premiums a little bit? Okay, is this a on the drums? This is a concert that was held at Stony Brook just about oh, 10 days after the Charles Mingus show. 
Uh, this one from November 23rd, 1976. The Mingus happening November 13th, 76. And uh, USB once again was there to record the fact, to record the sound. And uh, luckily we have we have it to bring it to you today, and we're uh, proud to do so. And uh, the marathon portion of our great radio sign, 1990. Your pledges and support will you. All right, you guys are about to go. I have some things to ask. All right, let's sit down and write at least a couple of those. Right here on one. You understand how to operate it? Oh yeah, I got it. You focusing on that first one? Yeah. Okay, you know he does WSB News on the spot. A gigantic, absolutely astounding prize from USB. Uh-huh. And that's Susan. Relaxing. Coordinator. Relaxing. 1990. How do you feel, Susan? I feel great. Wow. You said all that. Come in. We have Rob here taking care of his uh me. premiums. And that's Eric getting by. What do you think, Eric? Okay, Rob, what are you doing? Well, Vic, I'm uh, rearranging into chronological order several thousand cards which have been carelessly put out of order. We can't have this order here in USB because uh, we're the most orderly station in the nation. <laughs> and to be quite frank with you, Vic, the job I'm proud of doing. Are you really proud of doing it? Well, you don't really know too much about my personal life, but let me uh, let me just let you in on a little bit of a secret. Uh, at home, I have about 400 such boxes of these. And um, I hire young kids from the neighborhood, and I have them put all the cards. Each each box has about 1,000 cards in chronological order. I hire the kids, they mix up the cards. I go home at night. I'm not kidding, you know what? <laughs> I go home at night, and I put them back into chronological order. So I do think I'm probably the most qualified person for this job. All right. What do you think? I think you are, sir. As we continue the path toward... We appreciate that, especially from a, a fellow from Bridgeport, Connecticut. Wow, that really means a lot. It means a lot to the station, and it really means a lot to me. Thank you for calling in now. I really appreciate it. Okay, uh, we have a guest over here, uh, Walter Gold, and um, we'd like to say hi there to him. Walter? Yes, Teresa, it's a pleasure being here for the second time since last year. And again, I don't know where the time was. You're doing a marvelous job. And I know the people out there uh, from uh, WUSB and who are listening to the station will support you like they did last year. Because we're going to support you, Teresa. Before we leave, I have two checks for you that I will hand over to you in a little while. And we also have a good friend out there who's with us. None other than Louis Diskuski, uh, Teresa, from Long Island City. Uh-huh. And he uh, brought some He records. brought you down, didn't he? Yeah, as he a matter of fact, we came here with uh, my wife, Aiden, and Barry, and uh, we're here again, and we're... This time we have the family he brought us down, and he has uh, some records that he says are very rare, uh, sort of rare, and maybe you can get a chance to play it in the next hour or so. Mm -hmm. He gave me uh, an old 78. It's in no, Polish. That was the, the other, no, the that other was gentleman? The other, Ed from, oh, uh, all right. Okay, he has, a, he has some records, too, for me to play? 
I believe I didn't he has that. a couple okay. records. I don't know how many, but he's here too. All right, let, let me explain who Walter Gold is. I'm sure you all know, because I keep talking about him through all my shows. He's our great pocket ambassador that I tell you that goes from band to band, spreading love and cheer to everybody. He, uh, he does everything good for everybody. He has no bad word for anybody, and he's... he's a person we should have more of around, and we welcome him at any time here at USB or anywhere I am. Well, uh, he's, too, he's, yeah, he's he's a great fella. And Teresa, before you go on, I just want to say hello to our good friend Kenny Lavinac, who is listening in Yonkers. Oh yes. Every every Sunday, and uh, what more can I say, Teresa, except that this is for you, and if you want to read later, because I think a lot about what you say for people to be happy, and I think <laughs> this particular. Form is on there. Maybe the people out there will get happy and call in. And you want me to read place. this off to them? Okay. Perfectly think right positive. With me. I'm thinking positive. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. That phone is ringing. It's ringing and ringing. We're going to have this all lit up over here now. Come on. I'm concentrating. I keep telling you that uh, we have something special going between us. Every time I think, you call me. I'm thinking of these certain names. Are you calling me right now? Anyway, this is what Walter Gold just gave me. Say to yourself every morning, today is going to be a great day. Mm, I said that today. I can handle more than I think I can. <laughs> we'll see. Things don't get better by worrying about them. I can be satisfied if I try to do my best. There is always something to be happy about. I'm going to make someone happy today. Mm, I know who you can make happy today by calling in here at 632-6901. And you know, I'd like to say something about the um, <coughs> listeners in Yonkers. I know there are people who listen in Yonkers. I was in Yonkers a couple of nights ago, and I was able to hear WUSB. But to hear WUSB, it can be kind of difficult sometimes. We want to make that easier for you. And if you're having trouble getting WUSB now by pledging, you'll make it easier because we'll be able to move our transmitter to a higher location and get that signal to you better. 632-6901. I know there are a lot of people out there who do get this show. They have special antennas and things of that sort. And uh, there are other people who said they would love to get it, so that we hope that you do call in right now. And uh, let me finish just two more things on this list. It's not good to be down. Life is great. Make the most of it. Be an optimist. Call. 632-6901, and uh, if you're outside the area, it's 516-632-6901. Come on, we have to make our goal today, and we uh, it's very important uh, that we move this wonderful transmitter that we uh, got uh, last year and install a brand new antenna at a greater height so we can reach everybody. Everybody without any problems at all. And I'm sure you would like it. Who wrote that matching graphic? That's what it said. I and ladies and gentlemen, it. we take you to the WUSB I mean, radio time. Shouldn't it have said matching room from graphics advantage, we have matching graphics advantage? The what premium coordinator and the radio sign coordinator having a very healthy sense? conversation. Matching graphics advantage. Does graphics advantage make sense? Does anything make sense? Can someone just dump like a bucket of cold water on him? <laughs> I do appreciate that. Thank you. I'm in Star Trek this week. Oh, it's God. okay. Oh, okay, we're going to interview the data entry person, Mr. Mike. Mike Uhas, you you're the data entry person? Yes. Um, why are you entering data now? Why? Oh my Thank you. God. Are you entering data now? I am entering data even as we speak. No, no, no. <laughs> you can leave the microphone cap on. Okay. Uh, what kind of data have you been entering? Well, I, I just entered me. William Kosick and Mr. Stan and Harriet Stackowitz from Mount Sinai. Oh. And I just entered Dorothy. I see you sit down. You're sitting on my pen. I'm sorry about that. Uh, would, would you, you say you're sitting on my cards? Uh, I think the interfering quite a bit. Would, would you say that this is uh, you, you have different data than, than you've ever had before? I'd say this is quite different data than I've ever had before. Can you elaborate? Um, can I have the microphone? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm new at this. Uh -huh. Did you hear me mention? It's, it's, it's the most completely different data I've ever had. Would you say you were shocked? No, I wouldn't say I was shocked, but I would just say that it's completely different data than I've ever had. Were you appalled? No, I wouldn't say I was appalled. I'd just say it's the most completely different data I've ever had. Well, uh, we need a sensationalist word for the headline. Well, how about completely different? How about completely indifferent? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm kind of to that. Oh, <laughs> and there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the most beautiful, well-known, 
Man, Most completely we all different love. data. Did you pick up his? What's he picking up? It's my microphone. Oh, uh, it's my microphone. <laughs> we have the uh, uh, volunteers here, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, here's something that you should be keeping. She's using a spoon as a knife. That's not legal. You can't do that. What? Put the meat off. Can voice over the phone. <laughs> okay. Did you know that's on my book? I like to read the listeners. They're like, what's the point? I want to give you money for my listeners. Mmm. Alright, would you like to have a look at the book? Okay. Oh, we didn't enter the, like the, 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 the matching grant. Oh, we Susan, I'd like to continue that discussion with you. Oh. Well, it's going to be answered, but she never gave us an address. Why is this going on tape? Because well, it's so important for, for the evidence. It's going to embarrass us. I happen to know her address. She did happen to say that she was going to give us the money whether or not we entered it. So does it matter now that... Uh, yeah, let's enter the damn thing. Make wow. us feel better. As long as we know that it's not going to be entered twice. Well, there's a way to check, isn't there? <laughs> we have a computer here. We'll check for duplicates. Excuse me, like cushion. Fine, let's enter it. All right. Business donation. Graphic advantage. Teresa said, Teresa said A, that we misspelled a name. I'm going to get that name from her now. Uh, Teresa said B, that a caller called before 6 o'clock. That was for her. And there's Jim Dexter. But the jazz people got it. And she's pissed. She's pissed. She wants that call. Okay. This is a 498. See if anybody called for her. Because that's the number she gave out in the beginning. Hey, wait a minute. This left person called had an Irish surname. So I'm going to take it for next Saturday. Perky. Let's not get territorial here. <laughs> well, you were just supporting Teresa. Joe. I recommend that you listen to 6498 because that's the first number she gave out and maybe she got calls there. No, she played the cart. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. If we thought it, maybe other people thought it. Hello? Let's listen. Hello, this is the phone mail system. Hello. If you are calling from your own extension, push enter or pound. You dialed two six four nine eight. If this is correct, dial your password and then push. He's a hacker. The hacker is going to work. All right, let's see how many new messages we have. You have three new uh, same number. Message one from extension. We'll also listen to the last one. Message. Two. Message three was received at 3 p.m. yesterday. Uh, okay. I don't know, this is bullshit. We will return. Can we find one the computer? Yeah. No, you can't phone up by premium. No, that's a whole point of numbers. You can't. I asked that. You can't. Premium number. Premium number. Why can't you listen by premium number? You can't call up anything by premium number. Oh, yeah, it's a field. I can't do it. I think he said no. I can't do it myself. I can do it right now if you want to see it, but I don't want to do it right now. All right, Good, well, don't. can you do it tomorrow afternoon? Yeah, well, I'm going to call these names in. The, the, the person who got them, and I'm going to leave them in the office. I don't think she got them. This person's name's Sly. You're going to say, ha-ha, you, you, you can't go. Ask Sly, you're going to hope that Andy. they pay after this they go. This person's going to say, hey, my visa man. Don't get Sly, yeah. That's what I've been told. Okay. I'm, I'm not answering your phone call. I know, but this is... When this was promoted, that should have definitely been... Uh, right. Yeah, that doesn't really look like it. Oh, Jenny. Bad things can happen so tomorrow night if you want to turn that camera somewhere else. Like what? <laughs> Fill me in, I can't I'm wait. Major Celtic yeah, first. Oh, oh great Scott. Your knees to turn green or something. Yes. No, it's really... We're glad. She's throwing the green knees curse on me. I know, but you know what Oh, bloody hell. It looks black and white to me at the moment, but yeah. Dedicate song, How Married Are You, Marianne? Oh, yeah. 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 Hey, Eric! I'm getting a little far afield, I guess, in six hours. A lot of little things snuck in there.
Let's go to our university. That's what WUSD is all about. Oh. As I was telling the nice folks from New Swell. Oh, that's just the water. The water. Hey, I, after this radio sound, I'm convinced this is a great Sounds station. Sounds like to me. <laughs> I've got you again. You got me again. Can you do your rendition of uh, Love at First Sight? <laughs> <laughs> and last night. So I do the acapella version and catch everyone's no, reaction? No, no, just, just do it on piano because I'm, no. I'm going to leave and I'm not going to be here till Wednesday and I want you to. No, you'll have to wait for the video. You have, just have to on. wait for the video. Hello. Hello. Oh, oh my God, a human being with a check in their hand. Yeah, yeah, check. You want a check? Oh, a check? I look like the kind of person who just like somebody. Did you call him? No. Focus on the chat number. Where is it? Where'd it go? Yeah, Leo Live Money. Zero oh. <laughs> in on that money. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> All right. There you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's what we like. All right. And you know, and you know sure. for, for, 20, right. for $25 donations, you have uh, also the chance to get a, a genuine leather wallet. Hey, you have to get the Cinderella bag. They're in my box. Two of them are in my box. You're going to stick it out? You're going to stick it yourself, huh? No, it's Wednesday. Well, you have to be here Wednesday. You've got to stick Cinderella. I'm not going to go to Cinderella. I know, and I understand. You probably like ballet and everything like that, but it's not a good time to go. I'm not going to go home. Good, I'm glad I can ask you. Oh, don't want to catch any violence. Wait, wait, wait. Take your shot for America's most wanted. Murder. <laughs> don't you block. That'll get Channel 12 here back again. Come back, guys. <laughs> uh oh, what do we have here? No, no. <laughs> More heart work. Now, food work. Okay, we And if I have it here, uh, yeah, I do have it coming up, as a matter of fact, a little later on in the show. Okay, in the meantime, we have my band coming up on the turntable. While my band is on, if you care, please don't you call 632-6901 and make your pledge to the Radio Sign 1990 here, WUSD 90.1, to, to uh, the great heights that it deserves. Make your pledge now, 516-632-6901. And uh, here comes my band now with a tune that goes out to all of you, and it says, hey, we love you, man, love you, drive us crazy. Susan, when you get a, a second, Norm's on the phone. Let's talk to you. Hi, Norm. Hi, Norm. Hi, Norm. I'm Norm. I lost my mind, Norm. Wait, I'm going to ask him about that because I'm sure there are a lot of checks. <laughs> so, okay, so there's like a place, if the people get the wallets, we say it here somewhere, and we also say it there? Because there's been a few of those guys. Well, I don't know if they have been. Okay, now I don't know how we're going to... Well, why don't you put, a, put the guy's name and address on that? Okay, here's one. Two different places? Yeah. Okay. Now, with $50 premium, this man, he wants to find out if he gets the wall and something else, too. Yeah, we can give him a USB t shirt on top of that. That's what he wants to Do you want a USB t shirt? You get a USB t shirt if you get a USB t shirt above the wall. 
Oh, Rachel, are mm -hmm. all these wallets valued at $35? No, each, I think. One of each. Each wallet pledge at $30. So they pledge 100 all together? Yeah. Okay. So what does he want? So then we we actually should then does he really have... You can get a t-shirt, probably yeah, different... Um, you can get a t-shirt at Wow, hey, that's a neat Coffee. check. He's got a... He, he works for Pan Am. Or yeah, Tomorrow. Yeah, that is neat. Yeah, that's neat. Um, we should actually, if they're, if they're different, then I guess we should probably write them up as different. Do you need a value on there? Which one is it? Right mm. in the leather. Or you could get, or you could get two mugs and two walls. Or you could get a t-shirt and a mug. Mm. Two walls. Is it bifold or regular? Mm. I believe it's 22. 22? Yeah, 22. Okay, value 22. The, the wallet is the wallet is something that was made as a as, as a special premium a donation a special premium. Right, the, the, that's the usual thing. However, you get the premium in place. I'm not sure whether her name, you can turn that off. Oh, I can turn it off. Quite, not really all that necessary. Oh, okay. I, want this, I want this to be recorded here. So you just hung up on Norm. I'm sorry to have hung up on you. I'm afraid you deserve it. And he wanted to talk to me. He asked to talk to me, and now I can't talk to him. Hello, Norm. Norm, you can't hear me. Just call Riverdale. Riverdale. The whole town of Riverdale. Where is Riverdale? I don't even know where Riverdale is. We're looking for you. Go in here. He said he was going to the station on the way up there. So we'd like to thank Norm from Riverdale. You can get the station up there. Yeah. Norm from Riverdale. Susan, I think perhaps you've done enough here now. Maybe it's time for you to go. I think that it's time for me to go. Yeah, goodbye. Please, I'm glad we're in agreement on this. Jimmy, please uh, I, sing for me. Oh, oh man. Come on. <laughs> it was a great song. But can't you wait for the video? No. I, I have the, the video. video. I want it live. Performed. Okay, we have no calls. You can do it. All right. Let's, All I'll right, film it. it. I'll film it. Let's get it going. Oh, God. Do you need, um, <laughs> you, you need uh, background? You need a good introduction more, uh, to this. No. All right. Uh, Are you going to do your song again? Yes. Yes. We can jam. All right. We can, we can jam. Yeah, yeah, this is cool. Yeah, please now, give him a little something. Jim has a little introduction for this song first. I'm going to explain yeah. what it's all about. Yeah, you, better, you better get ready, though. Angie, you got to watch it. It's, it's very long. important that you pay attention to the lyrics. <laughs> this is the first gentlemen. time I have this on tape. Okay. Without further ado, uh, let's go. This is for people who have experienced brutal, brutal love affair problems. This is the, I don't really have a name for this. Well, it, the name, you'll hear the name of the song when, when we get to the chorus. Okay, let's go. Do you want us all to join Which in? version would you yeah, like? You want both one. versions it's or the long, long one? Long one. The, long one. The, long one. the long one. The long one. The long one's great. So make it quick. Phones could ring any second. <laughs> Maybe you can put the station on the What you want? What you want to us? I just was wondering about your comment about the quality of this Chief Taiwan gobbledygook. Ah. He failed. The second parallel card that's failed. He failed. Can't read it. I get a call. My macro. I get a call. I got a call. Our full service computer service center. Oh my god. That's right. 
Lord Healy Incorporated. Oh, I can't believe we lost the first time another parallel part. Shall we have a simulcast? How, how's that better light? Uh, no, I have this one. Uh, right. Please, Mike, please go through today's pledge sheet. If donations... No, if, if donation if, is... If donation is cash and or check and it's been... Entered as paid, entered as paid. With date and bottom with box and initial. Hey, uh, hey, all right, what are we going to do here? We're going to... Uh, we got to call Gordon. we got to get a uh, loaner card. Well, we got to call Gordon? Call Gordon. Yeah. Gordon. Call Gordon. Call Gordon. Call Gordon. Is, uh, shorted on the output. <gasps> it's shorted? <gasps> yep. It got zapped. How did it get zapped? I don't know. Yeah. Because of this, I'll bet. <laughs> I don't think so, no. Well, it just zapped now? There's no parallel port. Parallel port's out. Every time you plug that in, it hangs up the printer. Oh, these are the Christmas and things. Oh, so the printer is the only thing that's out. The screen in there is... Yeah, well, since now it's like disconnected the printer. It's only the printer, though, not the screen in there. The screen in there is fine, though. Yeah. Okay, so we can continue... Yeah, but uh, unfortunately, the printer card is the same as the monitor card. And I don't know if the monitor card is going to last. So we have to get one of those. Oh, wait, that's an IBM. Okay. It's not that genuine IBM. It's not that cheap. No, actually, it's genuine. I think you'll find that it's a dole, Frank. It's not an IBM. It's a dole. It's a dole. It's a dole. Oh, no. Dole. no, it's a WUSB 90.1 FM. No, if you look a little closer. If you look like right there. Get well, in a little closer. See what there. you can dole out. You want to macro it? Yeah, I'm going to have to macro. Hang on. Stand by for macroization. <laughs> See. What kind of computer is it? It's a dull computer. Dull. Are we standing in your light? No, that's fine. Dull computer. <laughs> While you're there. Oh. Wait, wait. Come on. Focus you. Don't say. I think you would be macro. Oh, macro away. There, there we go. Ah. Great. 10,900. Uh oh. Are we going to hit 11,000? Eventually. Oh, can we? What's today's anyway? What happened? <gasps> 30 rolling. Oh dear, look at that. Not bad. Not bad. I say not bad. Cheap IBM. <laughs> Dole, Frank. Dole. Cheap IBM dolls. Yeah. Okay. I want to capture this historic moment for all time. Jim has just gone over the eleven thousand dollar mark on the computer. What do you think, Jim? I think that Oh, that's very nice. Thank you very much for your time. Have a nice day. She is an animal. <laughs> I mean, he's probably just listening after that. Like Felix did yesterday? Yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Call <laughs> What was that? He was he's pretending on the phone. The phone dial. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who's doing it? Felix. Yeah. Oh, my God. That was a good band. That was a good band. Yeah, they were good. Hey, we captured them on film. Yeah. Yes. Did we look at that yet? No, I haven't looked at anything. All you see is just beer cans and courses flying in front of the I imagine that we're probably looking at this right now and chuckling to ourselves at some point. Oh, definitely. Yeah, like Most a party or something definitely. many years from now. No, like soon. We have to see this in color soon. Yeah, well, we can do that. Hello, Mike. What are you doing? Mike, I'm trying to work here. Get off this. See, Mike's working too. Mike is an artist, a video artist. Yeah, but his art is interfering with my work. Well? Which is more important, my work or his art? Uh, <laughs> actually, my art is more important than his work. Yeah. Mike? Yes, dear. Answer me a question. Mm hmm Here. <laughs> <clears throat> What's your question? Now, it was $50. Mm-hmm. Right. Is, 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 um, is this appropriate or what? Well, that one's 25 huh? That one's twenty-five. Fifteen dollars. Well, <clears throat> correct me if I'm wrong, but my math says wrong. twenty-five and twenty-five is fifty. That wasn't the question, Mike. 
Well, what was the question? The question was very simply if that was appropriate. Yeah, sure. All right, all you had to do was say yes. Mike? <laughs> I take it you don't want to talk to us today. Hello, sir. How are you doing? Um, my name is Vic. I'm a very confused person. I don't know what I'm doing here. Mm -hmm. I was uh, walking down the street one day. In the Merry Merry month of May? And uh, Norm just snatched me and asked me if I want to be PD. I don't know what it was. Next thing you know, I'm just sitting here looking in the camera. Mm -hmm. Things happen, you know? What do you think? You're probably right. I should be more sensible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get on the mic. <laughs> Turn you on the air. Oh, you broke it now. Uh -oh. And we've captured it on videotape. Oh, uh, you're guilty. I can put it back together. You could, but can you? <laughs> now look what you've done here. It's an interesting sculpture. Now look, this is a work of art. Here at the Let's see if we can't uh, uh, frankly like that very macro much. into this. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Yeah. Notice the the curvature. Oh yeah. Compared to the rest. Compared to who? The rest of the uh, mic. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Huh? We have a whole little forest here of sure. inorganic trees. I'm better right. Ah. <laughs> I'm indeed. Hmm. Very interesting. Uh, and there's our phone number. Right up there. With extremely fattened letters. What yes. did you say? Extremely fattened. Fattened letters? From the USB letter fattening division, division of the art department. That's right. And who's the head of that department? That would be Mike Uhas himself. Incredible. Incredible man. You and Uhas. You have and you. Did you ever see, what was that movie? Rick, oh my god, Rick. Rick's head is gone. Hunky earth woman, gaze into my eye. You cannot resist the hypnotic eye of the almighty Kabbalah Bunga. Wait a minute, I'm wow. wearing the Kabbalah Bunga. Come to me, earth woman. Come feel my all-seeking, all-known embrace. He sticks his tongue out at her. <sighs> With this kiss, I'll take your mind. Your will is my will. So speaks the almighty Kabbalah boy. Tony? Tony, come down here. Really? What the fuck? Oh. Tony, come down here. Now the kid stops reading the comic book. Okay, Mom, I'll be right down. Hey, Jim Dexter. Mm -hmm. Did you ever, you ever do like real quick zooms with this? Why didn't you answer? Oh, you can do I that? Was, uh, oh, oh, yeah. I didn't know that. That's yeah. a whole new dimension I have to play with. This is a good boy, This is interesting. Look at this. What's inside this man's mind? Punch $20, it's yours. It's a 1495 now. Frank Bergert with his LCD multimeter. Trying to fix hey, something. There's an ugly kid. This kid doesn't look normal. Bobby Goldsboro. <gasps> The Bobby Goldsboro. Is he the one who sang Honey? Uh, or however that goes? Yeah, I think it was him. Rugglers. Let's see, how about, um, hmm. who brought the Rugglers? What are Rugglers? He enjoys. That's yeah, a Ruggler right there. That's a Ruggler? That's a Ruggler. Wait a minute. Uh oh, it says battery. See the funny little clown? <laughs> and little thing, a... and it's too late. Wait, Mike, you have to eat that now. You've touched it. I'll get another Ruggler. Well, yeah. now you touched it too. Honey. That's right. Who's going to eat it now? We, you are. Oh. <laughs> oh, Mr. Part here, you want it up your nose? Mike? Huh? Honey. Oh, uh, huh? he is in there. Oh, honey, yeah. This is a sick. This is just a sick time. How about. In the midst of a pledge here. Oh, maybe it's not a pledge, maybe it's a message. Oh, it's a request. How married are you? Ah, how married are you, Marianne? <laughs> Did we hear that once before today? I think so. It's a couple of
Can you read the mysterious Japanese symbols on this piece of paper? All right. Well, thanks. I'll we'll send it over to her. Marianne Howe married, <laughs> masked, dedication, Elaine Jovanich. You're not leaving, are you? Yes, I am. Look at you, you've got a, a, red, a, red, a red scarf thing. on. A red thing, yes. Okay. <laughs> I've also got a wussy button, see? Yeah. And I wore it proudly. The other day when I went to a press conference with the Attorney General, I wore this. And yeah. they asked me what it was, and I said, this is from WUSB in Stony Brook. Mm. How about that? Yeah. Hmm. See? Good. Interesting. Mm. Tonight, tomorrow morning, you guys should see Eric on National TV with his one. Yeah. On CBS, the morning show. Hey, Jim Dexter, how about we do something different and you do a song on the piano to an old former ex-girlfriend? No, I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to do it again. Three times is plenty. Three how times? about the a cappella version? Okay. This is the a cappella version. It goes okay. a little something like Wait this. Wait a minute, let me, let me get back here for, for a long <laughs> shot here. From a different angle. From a different angle. Oh. Can I do funky video effects on this one? Okay. Ready? Okay. Bye, Rachel. Bye. Bye, Rachel. Bye. Good to see you. You're going to be around this week? Yeah. Okay. Oh, hey. Did I get those premiums right for you? I'll, I, I I'll put the cards, I attached them to the thing on there. Okay. So I'll enter them in then. I'll hang this up in the store. Good. Thank you. <clears throat> ah! I still have the other poster last year. Okay. Okay. Nope. okay. Get out of the way. <coughs> what is she writing? Pizza reviews. Pizza reviews? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Which are? Got myself. Pizza's to avoid. Mm. And? Don't know if it'll ever get published. It might be ahead of its time. How many have you sampled? More than I'm going to write about here. <laughs> Too many. How's it going, Frank? Oh, okay. What's wrong? Something's wrong. I don't know what's wrong. Have a clue? Too many clues. They're not leading anywhere. Oh. But you're going to be strong. Ah. Uh -huh. The camera. <laughs> PCR turning on at 7:30 in the morning doesn't disturb you. Oh, what's that? You're uh, documenting the printer chain. Yeah, I dare not do anything. The great printer swap of radio on 90. <laughs> it needs a new printer. This is a ribbon. Right. Is that the phone? It's a new one? No, it's an old one. Oh yeah. So much for the excitement of the new. Gary, what you eating? I'm eating a rugula. Like a rugula? Yeah. My second video huh? rugula. Where'd you get a rugula? That's true. The rigolugs in the bag. They are. No one yeah. told me. Check this bag out, please. Right. Right. Yeah, really we're really close up in the bag. Look what we have, and I didn't even know it. Do a macro oh. on the rigolugs. Oh, no, we already did that. Oh. You didn't tell me about it, did you? All right, this is the second close-up of a rigolugs. You're not mac today. macroing on this. You're macroing on me. I'm macro macroing on the rigolugs. Huh. Don't well, get your fingers all he, over he it. He touched mine, too, and then he put it in, the, in my mouth, yeah. like he's doing to you. Yeah. This is a video repetition. Rugula, number three. No, well, close up. Three, Jimmy, Keep your hands to yourself, though, please, Mr. Cameraman. Floating Rugula. Floating Rugula. Watch out, watch out. Joke's on him. The film's not even on. They make him act like a fool just by pretending to film. Get away from me. This is really exciting. This will make the news at the I heard toolbox at 3 a.m. <laughs> we did get it on tape, so we're going to have a copy tomorrow. 
Don't they don't they usually repeat that over and over again? I don't know. I've never seen it. Oh, you don't have cable? No, I've never had cable. Seventy-seven miles, honey. I put the uh, two hundred thirty-one thousand miles on. Fuel pump finally gave out. Shut gasoline all over the engine. You take the whole bag? Uh, somebody uh, grabbed the little box out. Where's the rest of them? Got the whole bag this year. Now yeah, it's all gone. Like that's separate, separate, same at home. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Guys, you take the whole bag. I do. You did yeah. take the whole bag. I'm coming back with it though. Hey, wait. Wait. Close up on the bag. Into the bag. What'd you do with them? Why are you a gun? I didn't do anything to you. How are we supposed to know that? Well, you... It's very dirty at this point. Right. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, sharp little arugulas. Ah. Did you get some of the grains on my, on my lens? Does it look like it? I don't know. Yeah, it does, actually. Look at this. Turn it around, look at it, and clean it off. Can we look at the, can we eat the rugulas now that it's got the machine on it? Let's see a little bit. All of a sudden, the front wheels will just go like this. Of course, that's the thing. That is the rugula. Ooh. Nice. Barely perceptible unless you've been driving it all your life like I have. I got my license in the car. I didn't buy it. Mike, um, did, but why don't we get the... Uh, I got my license. Huh? I want to get Matt talking about his car. Oh, this is pretty interesting over here. Yeah, it was uh, stolen once, too. Tell us. In the Union parking lot. Tell, about, tell us about the, the, the trouble. <laughs> We don't care about it now either, but you can tell us. Historical significance. Ready? Go. Well, the uh, hydrogen separator went out and... Uh... <laughs> oh, well. He's oh. not good on camera. He, he's, he's like, he's, he's nervous. Nervous? Let me, let me coach him a little bit. Okay. I can oh. do this on radio, no problem. Alright, I just, just talk. Talk to board. You were doing a great job talking about How much money are you going to make off this? <laughs> Is that? We're one third of the way there. What? Yeah, we're one third of the way there. That's we're, we've been talking about $1,200 for about four hours now. Yeah. Well, looking at the queue. Really? We haven't gotten... Uh, are we over 12000 We have 11284 Are we over 11284 That's what all the bulk uh, is left. Yeah, that's true. We need them to come back. Let's call them back. Well? All right, well. Go. Um, we're gonna be here for a day We're gonna take her down. Wait till the hour. Wait till it switches the hour. Oh, uh, please do me a small favor. It just did. It just did. Well, by my right down. What a party! How can we take them out of the picture? Oh, well, why not? Just documenting.
He was much better in light. <laughs> what are we listening to here? Well, you see, I've never filmed anything at night before, and it's just like low light conditions. It's nighttime on the end of the bridge. Good night. I want to see how that comes out at night. Okay, so do I. Good night. Can you see me? Uh, I see you fine. Well, I don't then know. fine. Then I'm going to be on the... Uh, then I'll be on <laughs> there, won't I? <laughs> It's toilet paper to clean out the uh, table with, huh? That's a lot of toilet paper. Well, it's a lot of mess on the damn table. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Oh, yeah. See you then. Bye, Gary. Bye, Mike. And he's gone. Just like that. And let's look out over the bridge at night. The there we go. Oh, there's the bridge at night. Let's zoom in on that. Oh, that's a scary bridge, is it not? Can't even see the library because it's dark. Okay, now we're going to rise up above the library into the sky and I don't see the moon oh it's way up there okay I'm still rising still rising it's gonna take a while to get there still rising still right there it is there's the moon let's see if we can focus in on that oh the moon's getting much closer and it seems to be shaking a bit but that's just the way I hold the camera Close up the moon. Well, I can't do macro. Zoom in. I'm zoom not, in no, real that's close. not going away. Okay, I think we did something wrong. It's going away. It's a little tiny ball now. The moon's gone. All right. Well, I guess this is a good way to sort of fade to black. So I'm just going to end it here. And uh, well, we'll see you again at some point. Good night. <laughs>